My dear friend, the Ghost Club has an extraordinary case for you. Spiritualist Thaddeus the Amazing has predicted his own death at his next seance. Could you have a look? Approach, please. What Goodness is happening here? Help! Not yet. Ah! Someone, light the lamps. Oh, he's actually dead. doubt that his powers were genuine. He was able to tell me of my daily comings and goings and all manner of details that he couldn't possibly have known. He certainly was going to be able to put me in contact with my sister. I'm so sorry to lose Thaddeus. The oddest part is that he claimed all would be revealed to each of us before his death. I've been coming here to decide whether I should accept a marriage proposal. Thaddeus had been attempting to contact my departed sister so that she could give me advice. Thaddeus was a kind man who sincerely wanted me to make the best choice. Now what am I to do? He was an incredible psychic. I came to clarify some uh, personal financial matters. I don't understand what happened. He foretold his own death, but I didn't expect it to happen like this. This is so frustrating. I had a simple question, but have had to come back for seance after seance, week after week. Each time Thaddeus divined a partial number from the other side, but never the entire correct number. Today he promised that I would get everything. I sought him out after the death of Mittens. Mittens is my beloved kitty cat. She was run over by a milk wagon several weeks ago. I've been trying desperately to contact my sweet thing ever since. I'm not well, though, and likely haven't long to live myself. I was so hoping to hear from my loved one. I'm convinced Thaddeus could have communicated Mitten's wishes to me. I must know to whom Mitten's wishes that I should leave my fortune. And now Thaddeus is lost to us. I shall never know. Nothing but a showman, really. Each week he gave a seance with all his clients present together. So many people makes everything much more... dramatic. I attend Lady Ursula at these sessions. She's ailing and needs someone to help her along. I have no particular belief in an afterworld, but if it comforts my lady, I see no harm. Thaddeus felt that if I signed some papers, it would demonstrate to my dead father that I had absolute trust in Thaddeus.
Lady Ursula's health is not good at all. And now she's lost her cat, it's almost like she has nothing left to live for. Lady Ursula was planning to leave her fortune to her cat Mittens. Since the cat passed on, she's been going to that spiritualist in hopes that Mittens will tell her what to do with the money. He's been Lady Ursula's butler for years. We have plans to marry. But first, Douglas needs to put together a little nest egg. He says he'll have some money soon. Get out of here before I call for the coppers! Her father mentioned this swindler to me. I understand it's because of him that my engagement has been delayed. should reinterrogate a suspect. Never trust a man who tells you what you want to hear. He's after something. Taking advantage of my daughter's love for her departed sister. With that charlatan gone, things can get back to normal. My daughter's engagement to Everett Boyd can be announced at last. Janice's elder sister was strong-willed. Janice always followed her lead. That's why it's so sad that she asked for advice, even in death. Time for Janice to think for herself. I know what's best for her. A girl of Janice's age should be married. Everett is a very sensible young man from a good family. He'll be very successful, I'm sure of it. Janice is a lovely creature. I would be honored were she to accept my proposal. I do adore her. I know the owner of a local brewery, and I'm convinced his business will flourish. He just needs some financial backing. Now Janice is free to be married at last. I'll invest my dowry in the brewery and make a fortune.
that's me. Yeah, some fella come by here every so often. Gives me a silver sixpence if I tell him everything about the folks in that house. Nothing unusual about him. Just a regular fella. I've seen him go into that building over there. I should return and find out about this. brother has become obsessed with some secret bank account. He inherited almost all of my father's fortune, as well he should as the male heir, but some was locked in a secret account. I think it unlikely that it should be a significant amount. I went along to the seances a couple of times. I thought it was a waste of my brother's time. Power of attorney to a psychic. That sounds very unusual indeed. You think someone paid Thaddeus to tell my lady that a cat wanted them to inherit? Well, that would be quite a clever scheme indeed. I simply do not believe it. And if you're implying that my butler was paying Thaddeus, I must ask you, why would a great psychic do the bidding of a common butler? Hmm? My own sister! 
paying Thaddeus off? I thought he was a bit too insistent that I sign that paper. Well, Anne is going to get a good talking to, believe you me. Good Lord, you found the office? I admit it, then. Thaddeus and I traveled the world, bamboozling the gullible and then exposing the swindle. But his death was meant to be a fake. I have no reason to want Thaddeus dead. Quite the contrary. You believe that Everett paid Thaddeus to manipulate me? It cannot be true. Thaddeus knew all of my comings and goings. He genuinely could communicate with the world beyond. He was going to reveal my plot. He paid the price for betraying a fellow crook. This Thaddeus fellow was rather too clever by half. But you pieced it all together very cleverly. Mr. Raymond was particularly interested in this one. He admired the duplicity of Thaddeus.